swear there was something there, sir. What did you see? For an instant, a Scout-class vessel. Could be Grissom. Patch in a hailing frequency. Grissom, this is Enterprise calling. Please come in. Mike, you're calling. Enterprise, Admiral Kirk calling. Captain Desmond, Follow, Lieutenant Seven. Please come in. Report status. We are closed. Enemy closing on impulse power range 5,000 kilograms. Good. This is just a turn of luck I have been waiting for. Opinion, Mr. Super. I think it's an energy surge. Enough energy to hide a ship, would you say? A cloaking device. Red alert, Mr. Scott. Okay, Captain. 1,000 calicams closing. All power to the weapon systems. Aye, sir. Wait. Wait. No shields. My guess is right. They'll have to decloak before they can fire. May all your guesses be right. But fire it, Calicam. Cyrus. So, ah. Uh, Bring on bird of brace. Disarming torpedoes. Fire, Mr. Scott. But shooting, Mr. Scott. Precautionary, Mr. Chekhov. Shields up. Aye, sir. Emergency power! Sir, the shield's not responsive. Scotty, your automation system's overloaded. I didn't expect to take us into combat, you know. Welcome to this week's On the Street segment. I'm your host, Tony, coming to you from the TCI editing room. And those exciting scenes you just saw are from Star Trek III, The Search for Spock. Now, you're probably wondering, what, just what does Star Trek have to do with this week's On the Street? Well, if you've ever watched Star Trek, you're, you probably might have wondered how they do the Klingon makeup for the actors who portray them. Well, we wondered that same question and found out about a little event going down at the sci-fi shop in Berkeley. A makeup artist by the name of John was down there creating people as Klingons. Let's go down and see just what was going on. Now what you just saw there was the makeup artist applying the Klingon makeup. And the appliance of Klingon makeup is a tedious and complex process. Let's look at the process in a little bit more in-depth view.
Kapla. Klingon. Klingon for success. Kapla. For the happy family here. And not only does the sci-fi shop hold such events as this, they also carry a wide variety of science fiction items for any fan, from aliens to the Terminator. I'll let the shop speak for itself. My name's Brian Kruger. I'm an employee of the sci-fi shop. Been working here about four months now. But basically, we don't, we really don't specialize in anything. We sell anything sci-fi. Um, basically, what's ever hot, we try to keep it in stock and, you know, keep our customers happy. And uh, basically, anything you want sci-fi related, we can get. We were doing basically John Paladin, who, who's a friend of uh, Ken Friedman, the manager of the shop, is uh, really big into makeup. He's been doing it for a while. And um, we were, tonight, Halloween night, he was in here doing makeup for people for Halloween parties or so whatsoever. You know, you really have to try this. I mean, it doesn't look like that big of a deal, but when you put it on, you, you feel really powerful. I mean, I don't know what it is, but you know, it, it's it's really strange. It makes you feel stronger and like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. It's sort of like a euphoric feeling. And as you could see, the sci-fi shop had a lot to offer. So if there's any type of science fiction item you're looking for and you can't find it anywhere else, they'll more than likely have it. Check it out. So that about that about does it for this week. My time's just about run out, and I've got to throw it back to Tim in the studio. So until next week on the street segment, live long and prosper, and I'm gonna warp away out of here.